self-contained breathing apparatus maze simulates the spaces firefighters commonly encounter during a fire emergency. Wearing full firefighter gear, including a bulky self-contained breathing apparatus, firefighters crawl through the wood panel maze utilizing devices that limit visibility and present physical barriers. The maze simulates different emergency scenarios, from scaling a wall, to maneuvering through cables and wires, to negotiating a collapsed attic area. Midland Fire Department training officer Greg Weisbarth got the idea from a trade journal. He presented the concept to fire department staff and the idea caught fire. Uh, once it was presented to the guys there was a lot of enthusiasm. Um, any hands-on training is very well accepted in the department uh, where the guys actually get out and do what they would encounter on their job. So we uh, took a couple months to build the, the maze to put it all together and since that time we've enjoyed it. We've had a lot of fun with it. We've learned a lot from the, the maze itself. Um, we see it uh, being a, a permanent part of our training program in the Midland Fire Department. Firefighters are constantly looking for new ways to train and challenge themselves. Um, the idea of the maze is that if I'm trapped inside a residential or commercial building, how can I uh, forcefully egress myself to safety and throughout the maze we have numerous different obstacles that simulate what you would encounter. We have an area where there's a collapsed ceiling, uh, which often happens in uh, house fires where interior ceilings, roof collapse, guys can get trapped underneath. How then can I get through the void spaces, keep myself calm, slow my breathing rate down, and move through? The Midland Fire Department also uses the maze to point out the importance of physical fitness on the job and confidence in your equipment. So the idea was knowing that when you're inside of a building, if you become trapped, you do have a limited air supply. But go back to the training that if I am sitting still and I control my rate of breathing, calm myself down, you can really extend the amount of air you have in that bottle, therefore waiting for your partners and or the crews to come in and rescue you. And that was the, the whole point of the three month scenario we did from limited exercise to moderate exercise to full exertion through the SCBA maze. When fully constructed, it's 80 feet of training that costs the fire department about $600. Donated material and recycled items, as well as volunteer labor, help to get this valuable training tool built. Headed by fire truck operator Mark Cloa, a team of firefighters from Midlands Fire Station No. 3 built the maze during on- and off-duty hours. The uh, materials were donated by Lowe's and Home Depot, uh, the majority of them. I think we had $600 our cost to the fire department. Uh, we had people from the fire department bringing in extra doors. Uh, we had houses that the city was tearing down that, we, that we've got materials from. And uh, the guys that were out here, um, we, got, we were at a, this is a busy station in the city, so we had very little time to work on it. So everyone seemed out here struggling, so they all pitched in and uh, made it into a, a group project. And the lessons learned in the maze are one firefighters don't soon forget. Some of the guys, like myself, that have been in the fire service for a while, it's still a challenge. Um, you know, some of them hate me for it. Uh, some of them appreciate it because even us experienced guys get disoriented in it inside the maze, and it's easy to do. And uh, that's what it's for. Hands-on experience. Hands-on experience. Great. Since its creation in March of this year, neighboring firefighting organizations such as Midland Township, Saginaw Bay, and Titabawassee Townships have borrowed the maze for their own training purposes.